Every single time I make a threading video, someone asks me down in the comments, why don't I use Joe Pye's one wire method of measuring threads? So I figured I'd give it a shot and test it against the three wire method. Let's look at how each one works and then we'll compare the two. The thread I have here is a 3 8 16 thread. And here are the relevant specifications for major diameter and pitch diameter. Pitch diameter is what you're trying to measure with the thread wires, and it is the most important measurement on any thread, even though it's the distance between two imaginary lines that bisect your threads. Why? It is the measurement that determines your class of fit. In the three wire method, you're laying two wires on one side of the thread and one on the other, then measuring across them with a micrometer. Each set of thread wires comes with a chart showing the size of wires you should use for a given thread pitch. In this case, 40 thousandths wires. You'll also find a number in that chart labeled as the constant. This is how much you would subtract from your measurement over wires to get the pitch diameter of the thread. Or, if you do it like I do, how much you should add to each of these pitch diameter numbers to get an acceptable measurement over wires range. With the one wire method, you're measuring from the diameter of the part to the top of a single wire on the other side of the thread. To get the result, you'll have to do some arithmetic. Joe uses the formula x minus r equals y, where x is the measurement from the diameter over to the wire, and r is the actual radius of the part. That gives you this distance here, from the center line to the top of the wire. You'll need to multiply that measurement by 2 to get your measurement over wires. This works reasonably well, and it's very easy to handle the single wire. You can also get an acceptable range by reconfiguring the math. Take your acceptable measurement over the wires range, divide by 2, and then add the radius of the part to those measurements. Now you have an acceptable range for the single wire. However, since you're measuring from the diameter to the wire, your measurements can be affected by the diameter of the part and by burrs on the threads. These measurements are all based on the actual dimensions of this thread, but if my major diameter was instead at either the upper or lower limits, I would actually have a possible range of almost five thousandths of an inch with the single wire measurement, even with the pitch diameter remaining the same. Likewise, burrs are plentiful when threading, and failure to remove them each and every time you measure will change the result. Using the three-wire method, your measurement is independent of both of those variables because the wires sit in the V of the thread, and the diameter of the part and any burrs on it are irrelevant to that measurement. You can plainly see that when comparing the measurements from both. My actual measurement over the wires using the three-wire method was 0.3977 inches, while the one-wire method comes in at 0.3973. Those are two very different measurements of the exact same thread. Does this actually matter? Well, it certainly could. If your pitch diameter is at one of the extremes, this seemingly insignificant difference could result in you passing a thread that's out of tolerance, or scrapping a thread that's actually within specifications. If you have any questions about this, or topics you'd like to see me cover in a future video, leave those down in the comments section below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you think I've earned it, and please consider supporting the channel over on Patreon like these wonderful people right here, including my newest patrons, Nicholas McNeely, and joining at the Master Machinist level, Heramia Langstom. Welcome to the club. You might want to check out these other videos as well. On the right, I have a playlist of all of my threading videos. On the top left, I have my most recent video. And on the bottom left, there's a video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.